What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC and we're going to start getting into more of the programming side of the Click. I'm going to try to make some videos similar to the Alan Bradley Studio 5000 videos that I made as I step through different parts of the program and some different instructions. So first, what you need to do is you need to uh, download the Click programming software that I'll provide a link for down below in the description. Once you download this, you should see an icon similar to this one. And let's just open that up. Now, as you can see in the video, I've got a PLC connected to my computer and I'm using the serial cord that you can buy on Automation Direct's website. I will put a link in the description to a, an alternative cord that um, that you can get because these are sold out and they're hard to find, they're hard to come by. They're also kind of expensive. The price has gone up on these. So the ones that are on Amazon should work. You have to download a driver. It comes with that. The only downfall is just be aware that the driver is on a CD. Uh, why that is, I, I would think it'd be cheaper just to, at this point, you just buy a thumb drive, but uh, you, you will need a CD ROM at some point to be able to pull that file off for the driver, but it is an alternative if you don't have the serial port. Obviously this PLC also has ethernet. I'm gonna use serial for, for this demonstration because, because all the click PLCs have serial. Okay, so when you open up the program, this is what you see. You'll notice uh, you have the startup menu that automatically pops up, and we're gonna talk about this uh, in just a second. But you notice the program looks a little different than something like a Studio 5000 because it automatically populates your screen with a bunch of rungs. Okay, so again, we're gonna talk about the differences here and how to program this. Okay, so here's how we get started. You notice on the startup screen, we, you've got three different options here. You can start a new project, which we could do at this point, uh, but I'm gonna show you another way to do it, which I think is a little easier, especially if you've got your PLC and it's already connected to your, your computer. You can open an existing project, obviously, if you've already got a project, this is where you can open it at, or you can connect to the PLC. This is what we're going to do. And the reason for that is because you can start programming, but you don't have to worry about, like if you set up your PLC to the correct model number and everything else, this, this will do it for you. So we're going to connect to the PLC. And we've already got our communication port set up and it's going through USB, okay? I can, if I want it to, I can, blink the lights on the front to make sure it's connected. I'm not going to do that. I know it's connected. So I'm just going to hit connect at this point. And then I'm going to read the project from the PLC. Um, you can choose that or you can also just don't read the project from the PLC. I'm actually going to choose don't read this time because we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to choose don't read the project. That would normally just upload the project directly into your your software here. Okay, so now we're connected. Um, it automatically comes in the main routine. That's one thing I like about this over Studio 5000. Studio 5000, you have to go kind of hunt for that main routine. This is automatically brings it in. And you're going to see some differences here that I also like that makes a lot of sense. To the right over here, if you look, you've got your instruction sets. Okay, I like that. There are they're all right there where you can get to them. You also have shortcuts. So F2, for instance, is your uh, normally open contact. F3 is your normally closed, so on and so forth. So here's the different instruction sets. So coils, timers, advanced math, things like that. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all that. We're just going to get started today. So what we're going to do today is just the simple program of jogging a motor where we push a button and it goes directly to our output. Okay, and the purpose of this is just so you can see how to basically create your first click PLC program. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our contact. Now, this is the thing that's smart that I like. In Studio 5000, this is called an XIC, and then you got an XIO, examined if open, examined if closed, right? It's super confusing because it's opposite of what you think it would be. Automation Direct actually calls these normally open contacts, normally closed contacts, which is what you are used to. So I'm going to double click that. This box automatically comes up. Okay, and so it wants us to create an address automatically for this instruction. If we click these three dots, 
it's going to take us to this page where we can choose some different options here. Okay. Now, X is your inputs. And so we've got uh, our inputs that we can choose from here. There's also your Ys, which is your outputs. And then you've got some more selection here that we'll talk about in the future. But for this, we're just going to choose the first input. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to choose the second input because on our trainer, the first input is our normally stop. And the second one is our green normally open push button. So I'm going to use the second input here. So I can give it a nickname here if I want to by selecting edit mode. So if I go into edit mode, I'm going to call this jog. And then I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK again. Then one more time, one more OK. And then and there's our normally open jog button that's addressed to our second input. Okay. Now, you notice here that the way these rungs are set up, I'm going to add my output. Watch what happens. So here's my output. This would be my OTE if I was using Studio 5000. So I go to my output. Automatically, it wants to know the address. Remember, Y is outputs. So there's my Y. And then I'll go to, I'll choose Y1 here, which is going to turn on my red light. And I'm going to edit this, and I'm just going to call this run for my nickname. So it's kind of similar to creating tags. I'm going to hit OK. And then you notice you can do a one shot uh, or immediate. You got some different options there. But notice what happens. It automatically turns my NOP on my output side into my output, right? So again, that's super simple. Um, we can't stop here, though. If I try to download this program, it's going to give me an error because we have to add our end. So we click this, and if we look over here under Program Control, see our end command, we select end, that changes that. Now we're good to download. All right. So there's a couple different uh, things that we can do with our uh, program, and I'm going to uh, choose Write Program to over right what's in my PLC. Okay, so whenever we go to download this, you might get this error message, and I want to kind of show this, okay? So we're going to come over here, and we're going to write project to PLC. That's downloading this project to my PLC. At first, you might get this, right? Password not configured. And this is there to basically protect people from downloading over your programs inside your PLC. But for this purpose, we don't really care. So we correct that, but under our navigation, we go to function, user account setup, and then you can do your password setting here if you want to, or you can choose this disable password requirement, which is what I'm going to do because, again, this is just for training purposes. And then I'm going to go back and write my project to my PLC. And it wants you to name it. So at this point, I will call this um, my jog. And obviously, like anything else, you want to be sure that you save this in a place that you can find it later. But we'll go ahead and save that. And then it's kind of like an FTP type of look. So I'm online. It says be sure. And you're running. You want to overwrite this while it's running, and I do. And then now that it's downloaded, we'll go to um, run. So we want to run. Whenever we hit our green button, we can see that it turns our output on, let off, it lets off. So we're doing a jog circuit now. There's our, our first program in Automation Direct, the Click PLCs. Uh, again, this is a free download. That's an amazing opportunity if you are in a high school, a community college, and, and your funds are lower. Um, I'm starting to see these more in industry. And so this is just a great opportunity to teach students ladder logic. 
basis of ladder logic and PLCs. Um, so I hope this video has helped you. I'm going to be creating several more as we go through. Uh, again, it's going to be similar to what I did for the Allen Bradley Studio 5000 software. I'll have my, I'll have a playlist just for the Click PLC programming. And if you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Thank you.